curiosity when there is or if there is no help and even there is no one there, why would people seek private talks with you during the residential? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. Private, I don't know. <laughs> but, but that seems to happen. But the other thing about that is that it doesn't matter anyway because what happens there happens here. And that is that they get no answer. They may, somebody may want to come and talk to me in a one-to-one -one basis. And in, in fairness, to talk about something that they're shy about or they don't want to share, that's fine. But they won't get an answer. There is no answer. They just won't get an answer. So it's, a, it's the same thing as this, just more... Uh, there's just only two people left. <laughs> Apparently. <coughs> People do phone me up. I say on my website, it says you can just phone me up. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing how few people do, actually. They do, but not many. But that's the same thing again. They're not going to get anything. So maybe that's why people never be phone me. flowers, I can watch you, there is somebody here watching that. And, okay. Oh, I'm going to say something now. <laughs> You're it's, a <laughs> it's a story. It's part of the story, the watcher. The watcher, the witness, yeah. the observer, that which is conscious of. It's a story. Watching the flowers, the hearing the noise, is hearing the sound is a story. Hearing one, the sound two. One, two. Dualism. Hmm. It's a very attractive one because it's the basis of self inquiry and all of that, which is, is very, very married to. Uh, detachment. Because if you develop your, this is the theory, then nobody can, but the theory is that if you develop self-inquiry, um, you know, looking and watching and da da da, and who is it that's drinking his tears up, what you actually develop is a sort of detachment. It comes out of mm. the whole disassociation with life. It's a very masculine sort of teaching to do with, with detachment and watching, being in a time of detachment. And you can develop a very powerful form of detachment. And then there are even different levels of detachment. They're called enlightenment. Because they feel like enlightenment. Because there's a sort of, a sort of freedom about being detached. You, you're in this ivory town, life is happening and you're watching it from your town. It's a story. <clears throat> But aren't they pointers? pointers? No, there is, no, there, they are pointers for it. There isn't, no, the everything everything in a point is a pointer and nothing is. But the whole idea that there's someone who can um, can choose to self-inquire... is an illusion. Totally. And, it, and, and all you're doing is keeping people in a circle. Yes. All that, that whole idea, the concept that there is action that can be taken to move to somewhere is simply a story. It just goes on maintaining a dream. So, if you want to call it a pointer, it's a pointer away from, not to <laughs> away. <coughs> 
Tony, uh, you know Osho. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so when, when uh, Osho is telling this story, he told, uh, can be there really, uh, could be there be a liberation? If you can, oh, if, if can there be liberation for oh, Osho if he uh, tells this Not story? Not if he tells the story, but liberation can happen anywhere. Even with Andrew Cohen. But do you tell the stories after this? Oh no, of course not. No, no. no. When, there, when there is no one, there's no story to tell. Yeah. But when, when I say there can be liberation, of course, in a way, in a sense, of course, there is no such thing as liberation. Yeah. It doesn't happen. But of course, it requires nothing for it to seem to happen. The collapse of the individual requires absolutely nothing because the individual is in an illusion anyway. Yeah. So it, it can happen anywhere at any time, but not because of anything, but despite everything. Yes. Despite everything. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, the no, so, so question was. Um, if, if, it, if you have this uh, uh, breakdown of, of this me, yeah? collapse of it. It's a collapse, uh, will you go on tell stories about uh, you, you would tell stories, but you would, there wouldn't be anything that would tell someone else that they can find enlightenment. Because okay. because, let's be clear, not because it's wrong to tell them that they can find but okay. because there is no one that is recognized. In liberation, it is obviously apparent that there is no one. Okay. So how would you then tell him to go and get in line? Because there isn't anyone there to tell to go and get in line. Okay. So that never arises anymore. The whole, right. the whole um, basis of teaching simply collapses with the teacher, with you know, with, yeah. with the yeah. person. Okay. There isn't anyone. I mean, some people say that, that, that some other teachers say, or other people say, well, oh, Tony Parsons attacks teachers. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's, there never has been any any attack on a teacher because there is no teacher. There's, because the, the construct of the person is, is is illusory, then there is no one that's ever attacked and no one that's ever helped. But teachings, you know, the, uh, the story teaching, the teaching of becoming, would be exposed from this, from this, it seems to arise unnoticed. <laughs> <laughs>